we going today? Yeah, universal. Is there universal anything? what? There's so many yeah. things that are universal, like remotes. <laughs> what are you guys looking forward to? Like one, one thing. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to see the Harry Potter thing. No idea what to do. Brittany? Uh, I'm excited for Harry Potter World. Jesse? Harry Potter. Yeah. I'm, I'm just anxious to see the whole park. I haven't seen it yet. So. Yeah, maybe me too. Yeah. Harry Potter and yeah. Jurassic Park. Park. As you guys can tell, I am very excited for Harry Potter, but um, I'm also very excited for the Hulk. I've been waiting about 15 years to ride this roller coaster. It's finally gonna happen. Time is here. I'm in the park and we are on our way to Harry Potter. This is a day uh, almost 15 years in the making and I'm going to make as much of it as I possibly can. I'm gonna make it as much out of it as I possibly can. I'm gonna... I'm, <laughs> today's just a dream come true for me, you guys. You guys, I'm actually here. This is Hogsmeade, you guys. That's it. I've officially made it. That's the castle, you guys. You guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm actually here. This is amazing. I can't believe I'm actually here. Park is awesome, you guys. <laughs> I'm actually crying because I'm so happy right now. Something we give this way goes. That's incredible. This is basically, it's basically a caramel drink. That's the best I can describe it. It's like caramel it's soda. Caramel soda. But mine is frozen, so it's like a caramel ice cream milkshake. Sort of it is absolutely delicious. This is incredible. Oh man. Oh, the foam is incredible. The foam is so good. Everything about this drink is absolutely amazing, you guys. If I had more thumbs, they'd be up. But I only got two, so two thumbs way, way up.
Okay, so I just got off the hulk, and I gotta say, it was worth the wait. I cannot believe how awesome that roller coaster was. I'm gonna do it again. I got myself this Seeker hat. You guys have probably seen this a couple of times earlier in the day, but there it is. My Seeker hat. It is, now it's uh, his. <laughs> it's number seven. That's Harry Potter's number. It's got a little HP right there. It's kind of cool. And the next mm. thing is uh, the wand oh. I got from Ollivanders. Mm. Oh. So let's take this out. And look at this baby. This is a very appropriate one, given my Death Eater tattoo. The skull almost matches, which is kind of cool for that. That's my awesome little wand. I think it's really cool. But that's not the only wand I got today. I also got Dumbledore's wand, the Elder Wand, the fabled most powerful wand ever created, ever, until my wand. Well, I've got a pretty powerful but... one. You can ask your mom about that. Oh, yeah, is that so? You're so... right, because that's exactly what everyone wants to hear when they listen to this later. <laughs> so this is, this is an official movie replica wand of the same one that Dumbledore used, and it's one of the Deathly Hallows. I just think it's really cool. It, it just feels good to hold it fits well in your hand. I really like it. That's not the end of the wands because I got one more. I also got our Dark Lord Voldemort's wand. And again, this is an official movie replica wand. Uh, it's got everything that the wand that he used has. It's got the little hook. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. I love it. Yeah, and your back or your even butt. and even more so than Dumbledore's wand, this one just it just fits in your hand like the little hook here just kind of holds your pinky right there, and it just feels so comfortable to hold in your hand. It's ergonomically correct. It is so ergonomic. It's ridiculous. I love it. So um, excuse the bagception here because I got broken bags and messed up bags and. All sorts of bags. Next thing I got Susan. is this awesome little Venom shirt. Woo, Venom! I went from store to store today looking for Venom and Carnage material, and this was the best Venom shirt that they had. I think it's really cool. It's awesome. it's, it really represents the comic version of Venom, where he's just a hulking, sort of blue and black figure, instead of like most movie versions where he's sort of just dumb. I love it. I got a pack of cups. Uh, each of them is assigned for each house. So I got the blue one is Ravenclaw, the green one is Slytherin, yellow is Hufflepuff, and of course, red is Gryffindor. So I got the whole set, and I don't know if I'm ever going to drink out of these, because I kind of want to keep them in mint condition, but I probably eventually will. <laughs> so the next thing I got was this white Wizarding World of Harry Potter shirt, just as a memento. It's the only thing I actually have that says that it's the Wizarding World at the Universal it's Studios. The and it's an awesome picture of the castle. And... 
The next shirt I got, I believe this is the last thing on the list. Good to know you'll be clothed. Yeah. Last thing on the list on the top the top. Half. Right? <laughs> is this awesome Dobby shirt. As you can see, Dobby's just kind of inked in here. It's really, really inky. Sort of like he's been just pressed on and it's really almost dirty. But there's a lot of good cool. detail in it. Yeah. There was another Dobby shirt that I liked, but I think this one was a little more subtle. I liked it a lot more. Um, one shirt that I wanted to get, but kind of decided against, uh, there was an adult shirt of Hogwarts burning, but it was like elastic or spandex or something, and I just didn't feel comfortable against my skin. So I decided not to get it. All right, Ryan. What was, what was your favorite ride or attraction today? I think it's a toss-up between the Hulk and the Dragon Challenge. The Dragon Challenge was an awesome coaster. Ba, ba, ba. The Dragon Challenge had more drops and more oh shit moments, but the uh, Hulk had more G-force and turning and upside down. Uh, wow, well, it's hard. Today was just really an awesome day. I was really um, impressed, I'd say, mostly with the um, Dr. Seuss part of the Seussville or whatever it's called. The Dark Seuss, Seuss Landing. Seuss Landing. Yeah, Seuss Landing. It was um, really awesome. It was just a, just eye candy everywhere that you look. So such cool shapes and things to look at with the Dr. Seuss things. Um, Pretty much the entire Wizard, Wizard and World of Harry Potter is my favorite thing on the planet for today. Um, going to Ollivander's was epic and All watching the uh, wand ceremony that Jesse got to participate in, which I'm super freaking jealous about, but that was really <laughs> awesome for him. Um, and the journey, what was it called? The journey ride or whatever the hell it's Unexpected called. Journey. Forbidden Journey, Unexpected for Journey. It, forbidden whatever. Journey. Unexpected Journey is The yeah. Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> the Forbidden ah, Journey is Harry Potter. <laughs> We're, we're crossing the nerd streams. Damn it all. <laughs> um, the Forbidden Journey at Hogwarts was pretty epic. You bounce back and forth between virtual reality and actual, like, bits of the castle. So you get attacked by spiders, which I didn't like at all because they suck. Um, yeah, I heard you screaming your ass yeah, off at the spider I park. I like spiders. <laughs> she was just like, oh, yeah. shit, spiders! <laughs> <laughs> and then you get freaked out because the Dementors come out of nowhere and try to suck your face off. But uh, it was great. I got blasted in the face by uh, Dragon Fire, which was lovely. But all in all, that was probably my favorite ride ever. Finally seeing my son jump out and have a blast at something he's been wanting to do for a very long time. Aww. 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 Okay. Okay, well, enough of that. Okay, well, I, I have to say maybe my favorite ride, even though it was really pushed the limits for me, was the journey ride at the Harry Potter Castle, at Hogwarts, Hogwarts Castle. It was, it was awesome. It almost made me sick because it was a virtual ride, and it was um, very fast, like you are playing Quidditch, and um, very, very cool, just very very interesting and very different from any ride I've ever been on before and I really really enjoyed that. Um, my favorite ride was The Unexpected Journey and my favorite attraction I think I'd have to say was Ollivander's. The Harry Potter was just fantastic even though it almost made me sick too but you know we all started off really screaming the four of us and then like the last half of the ride Everybody was quiet. Thinking, <laughs> Trying to hold it in, huh? Stomach feeling like my stomach. <laughs> oh, the Harry Potter ride in the castle, whatever that one was. Really? I thought that made you sick. It did, but it was still the most awesome ride I've been on. The following story has been edited to fit time constraints. Okay. What happened in all of Anders? So, in all of Anders. They choose someone from the crowd to participate in like a wand choosing ceremony. Like what happened in the uh, Sorcerer's Stone movie, the Harry. They pick one person. I was picked. The guy that's supposed to be Ollivander looks around the, the crowd 
and he points at me. And he's like, would you come forward, please? So I step forward, and then he walks me through this whole thing about choose the ones, choosing the humans, and all that stuff. He's just like, okay, when's your birthday? So I tell him my birthday, March 21st, and he's like, and he grabs a wand from the shelf, and he's like, I wonder, the wand that did choose me. This one is amazing. Are you ready to see it? When he handed me this wand, um, I could feel air coming out of the reception desk and blowing onto me. And then the music that played when Harry's wand chose him started playing around the room. I'm just like, whoa. The light, the lights went the, out. The lights like the lights went out, me. except one really bright light yeah. went on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, whoa, now. My favorite ride uh, might surprise some people since I spent so much time at Harry Potter and I just went crazy with Harry Potter. My favorite ride was probably the Hulk. I rode that the most today. It's been the one ride I've been looking forward to for pretty much my entire life as far as I can remember and it was very satisfying and I want to get tickets for the park specifically just to go and do that.